Hi, I'm Beth Ramsden. Today I'll show you all the steps needed to make a collared short sleeve shirt for Blythe dolls. Here's my pattern. I created it when designing summer outfits for a collaboration as I wanted to make a Hawaiian shirt. I'll be making this shirt using a nice lightweight cotton. First, I trace around my template pieces with one of the body pieces reversed and apply fray check to all the seams. Once dry, I'll cut out the pattern pieces. For assembly, align both shirt body pieces with right sides together along the back seam, leaving a 5mm seam allowance so along this line. With 5mm seam allowance, sew the facing extension edge together too. Press open the seam allowances to lay flat. Fold in each of the sleeve cuffs by 5mm. Then top stitch both close to the fold about 3mm in to create a neat edge. Fold your collar piece in half lengthwise with right sides together and leaving 5mm seam allowance, sew across each of the short ends, following the angle carefully. Being careful not to snip your stitches, cut off the corners of the seam allowance and then turn the collar right side out. Carefully push out the tips of your collar and press flat. Around the inside of your neckline, make small snips about 3mm, roughly 1cm apart, all the way around. On the right side of your shirt back, align the collar's raw edges with the raw edge of the neckline. I fold my collar in half to help line it up with the centre back seam. Working from the centre outwards, align and pin the collar with the neckline, gently straightening the shirt neckline as you go. Your collar will then look something like this. With a contrasting thread colour, sew a tacking or running stitch across the middle of the collar and then remove the pins. With right sides together, take the facing extension and align its centre seam with the centre seam of the shirt back seam. The collar is in between them. From the centre working outwards again, pin the facing extension so the neckline is aligned on each side. Also pin the lower hem of the facing as shown. With a 5mm seam allowance, sew the neckline and both facing hems.
carefully snip both corners where you've sewn the lower hem. Also snip both corners of the neckline. You can now remove your temporary stitching. Turn both the facing sides out and push out the corners to give nice crisp points. Inside the shirt, working from the centre outwards, again align and pin the facing to the shirt, evenly distributing the curved facing. Your shirt will look something like this. Now neatly top stitch close to the folded edges from the lower front hem up the front opening side of the shirt around the neckline then down to the other opening side. This will help your facing to sit neatly on the inside of the shirt and will ensure the front collar will be neat and flat. Now for each side, fold with right sides together both of the side seams and sew with a 5mm seam allowance along the underarm and side to close up the shirt sides. Being careful not to cut your stitches, snip the corner and around the inner curve of the armpit. Press open the seam allowances along the bottom hem. Fold over the bottom hem by 5mm inwards. Clip or pin it and then top stitch close to the folded edge. This will complete the top stitching and basic assembly of the shirt. To finish it off nicely, we'll press the seams with the iron, which will also set the lower front part of the collar in place too. Now I have a couple of homemade ironing pads to help me with this, and here they are. They're just uh, stuffed shapes to help me when I'm ironing tiny clothes. They fit into sleeves and other odd curves nicely. Just keep your fingers away from the iron. You can see me pressing the seams and collar here.
just set the collar to the angle you want it to sit and then you'll be ready to add in the closure. Now your shirt could be finished with snap fastenings, velcro or buttons. I will use a combination of hidden snap fastenings with decorative buttons sewn onto the front for this shirt. There we go! It has a nice relaxed fit for the original Blythe Leica style body as well as a Bit 224, the jointed A-Zone and likely many others too. I hope you had fun sewing this. Remember to share your makes with me on social media and try out adding pockets, contrast stitching, lace or ribbon trims and bows to personalise your clothing. I spent a lot of time adjusting and refining the pattern for this shirt, so I do hope you'll consider buying the PDF pattern and try it out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you again soon. Bye!